So today we are continuing our Ravnica Allegiance Sealed run. Uh, we are currently two and one with the one loss. Um, I'll be honest, was kind of to myself. I, I made a mistake. I should have listened to my gut. I should have mulliganed. I did not. And then to top it off, my opponent uh, led off by playing a rare followed by a mythic rare. And they were uh, both impactful. So we lost that game. Probably my fault, but... Hopefully you watched that video and you already know that and you didn't need the recap. So we're going to see how we can improve from there, turn things around. This looks entirely keepable. Uh, we are running three colors, but blue is our splash. So as long as we have red and green, we're usually in a good spot. And uh, we have lots of cards that we can uh, play or potentially play in the near future. The fact that we have the two green means when we get to five, this comes online. And uh, Biogenic Ooze... Spoiler alert, it's a pretty good card. And it's amazing and limited. If they don't have a way to remove it right away and it can go hog wild, or even more so if you get to where you can uh, start making the the ooze tokens, you're in a good spot. But we're going to go ahead and lead off with our goblin. We did already find a fourth land, so eventually we'll get to uh, play this Beastmaster, which in my opinion is a, another really good card. Also means we'll be able to pump this. Okay. We're gonna have a bit of a decision to make ourselves this next turn because on the one hand, we could attack with this and take the trade. Or we could wait till we get to four lands. Now this, this is another amazing pickup for us. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the uh, the counter here. I think a 4-4 four, four for 3 is uh, strong. But yeah, by, by waiting till we get to 4 here... Well, actually, we got a lot of things we can do. We can, uh, we can swing with both, and then we can pump this if they do block and force something out of them. Also, so far, our opponent seems to be on the same color as we are, though they don't know that... We're running blue. And then if they don't require us to pump, then of course we can develop Beastmaster. If they play something cheeky, we do also have uh, Titanic Brawl as pseudo removal. We have some options here. We're uh, bringing down another guild gate. I think we're just gonna pass it over. And, yeah, we're going to go ahead and come in with uh, some attacks. Because, again, we can pump this if they decide to block, and I'm fine with that. It's like, yeah. Now, they, they might just turn around and then bounce our creature. Or do that. That's fine as well, but we... We still forced the removal out of them. So. All in all, I think that that's an acceptable trade-off. Alright, so our opponent's now up to the four lands as well. Things can start to get a little hairy. But also, making them use that's a big deal because uh, that is something that could have answered our ooze. So in an ideal world, they would either tap out or at least tap enough where they wouldn't have an answer for this. We'll top deck a land that we can uh, use immediately. There are some gates on our list, but we'd like to use something immediately to get this on the board and at least pumped up once in case they ended up with multiple scorch marks. Because once once this thing gets going, it is it is a monstrosity. Okay. And sadly for us, did not get what we were looking for here. Okay. Um, I think what we're going to do... 
Let's get rid of this. And develop this. And let's say no attacks for now. Would have been would have been a good turn. Sadly for us to top deck a usable land to get this ooze up and running, but Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Alright, let's see if they bring the heat. They do. We're going to say no blocks. It means they're going to play something afterwards, but we'll let them even up the health total. Alright, so they definitely played something. And that is a That is a big boy. We're going to go ahead and, I guess, develop this for now. At this point, we're kind of trying to stall out a little bit. A lot of times, limited games come down to who like makes the best use of their, their rares, their bombs, and so... Our opponent has found some good quality cards to match ours. And if we can get our ooze up and running, we might be okay. But for now... We're in a bit of a pickle. And the shark to crab is also a really good pickup for our opponent. They're just playing bigger things than me right now, which is a problem. And they're leaving this open for another potential removal. Just not boating well. Alright, we're gonna go for it. And uh right, I was gonna say hope. Hope that they don't have an answer right away, and then we can start making more oozes on the following turn, and that will they'll do wonders for us. I think I think our game right now is going to be living and dying <laughs> by the ooze. Now, the fact that these add counters means that this card becomes uh, pretty amazing as well. Because I can just continually pull counters for the oozes. So while we can make more oozes, uh, getting this developed makes an awful lot of sense. They've got, got some mana open there. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the five, but assign blockers like this, I think. Because this means we hopefully only lose one creature. in exchange for the five. All right, now that, that's a big boy. And they'll go ahead and adapt to that next turn, which is very problematic as well. Gonna get this going so that I can uh, hopefully have some combat tricks here. All 
And then if we draw another land, we'll probably develop the gator just because it's a big defending body. And if we don't draw another land, then our game plan from here on out is to just make oozes forever. But I think my opponent realizes the longer the game goes, the more it favors me because of the ooze. So I expect them to be more aggressive here in force trades. I really wish they didn't have enough to adapt to this. Wow. That wasn't very nice now, was it? Alright, so they don't have enough to adapt this here. But I really don't want to go down to two. But I also can't really afford to block with the ooze quite yet this turn. So I think what we're going to do is do this and just sacrifice my 3-2. My and see what kind of combat tricks they got. Because going down to two feels a bit risky when you're playing against somebody with red, right? Direct damage spells do exist, and at least by doing this, they would have to use them to make uh, trades to kill this. Oh. Oh! Or they can just kill me! All right, well. Sadly, uh, I think that we lost that because... We just found our land too late. Um, we needed to get the ooze up and running sooner. We did not get to five lands enough, and we are now with our backs against the wall. Cannot afford another loss. I'm not sure what I could have done differently there possible that instead of playing the 4-4 uh, the guy that I should have elected for another ooze or something like that, but... Oh, look. My opponent just leads off with a rare. I don't... I don't know what it is about uh, my luck in these sealed events. Well, he can't adapt it. And if he wants to trade, then I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I don't know what my what is up in my luck, but I'm pretty routinely running into people playing very good powerful rares. And I know this this thing looks really unassuming, but I assure you it's it's very strong. Not even just because of the adapt, but because of the, the number of ways that exist. to put more counters on it. All right, so the good news is we do have uh, our Planeswalker. Bad news is we don't have four lands quite yet. That's also very, very good for my opponent. <laughs> Not so much me. We're likely back to playing defense for a bit. This flyer is going to be a problem because we need to keep this alive. Now... Oh, okay. They are really ramping up the tempo against me right now. We're going to use the plus one just to get some more health on it. It's not going to actually be for anything. I just expect to take at least two. It's also a really good play by my opponent. I am envious. So 
So that has trample. So in order to keep this alive, we've got the block there. Give me some more. And now what do we want to do? Things are about to get real rowdy. So go ahead and at least do this. We we won't be able to keep our planeswalker alive, but this will hopefully have at least uh, stalled us a little bit, so that we can get a blocker going and and try to keep ourselves afloat. They are one land away from this being able to trade into this, which will be rather annoying. All right. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. We lose our planeswalker. That's a. Oh come on. All right. Two damage among one or two targets only if it has a plus one plus one counter on it. But they took that with the riot, so. And the fact that it's targets means they can. Punch me right in the face with it, which is also a problem. So we're going to go ahead and do this just to slow down the attacking in the air. But we are not we are not in a good position. We have our backs firmly against the wall. And it's on the back of my opponent just playing better cards than me. Again. I feel like that's happening a lot. Despite me, I feel like this was a really good sealed event, right? Like, we got a Planeswalker, we got the Ooze, uh, we got some playable rares, but... When it when it comes to limited events, like, Broken broken Rares wins games is usually the, uh, the, the phrase, if you will. So, like, I have this that I can develop that'll help me start drawing cards. And I have this that I can develop to potentially serve as another blocker, even if I don't have a good way to activate it quite yet but then I uh, actually let's get this going because I can I can adapt and then use this to ping things and then continue adapting the problem is is that if they're smart they're just gonna start pinging me to death much faster than I can ping them to death because yep. we're both now in a position where we can spend four to deal two damage to any target. Essentially. Alright, so this helps a bit. So one of the potential paths that we have is I could attack with this and then I could bounce the Hellkite and give this plus one plus one. That's an option. I would still have blockers back for two of their creatures though. So we are just going to end the turn, I think. We're again at, at quite the standoff. Being down to eight is problematic. Oh, look. Another rare. And it's a very, very good one. Go ahead and uh, do this, and let's go ahead and say both. Uh, let's give this plus one plus one, and let's bounce this, just because I also can't replay it yet this turn. Let's make them second guess attacking me and slow them down a bit. So like they can they can give their flyer plus one plus one if they want. Well, 
Doesn't let us play that, but it helps. And yeah, unfortunately we are still stuck passing. Our opponent has a lot more resources than we do and is in a much better position, so we have a long way to go. Yeah, that seems really good. Seems really good indeed. Nothing I can do about uh, the Hellkite resolving, sadly. that play a big boy all right so if we can somehow just not die we have a potential path to victory here kind of depends on on what we have but See, theoretically, we could... Oh, God. Okay. That seems really good for them and not so much for me. They're, all, they're almost where they can just win from that. So this does not have trample. So we can block like this, right? And go down to one, hopefully. Because they're tapped out. I need to do some math here and figure out if I pull this off and I shoot them down to 16, then if they block this, yeah, hold on. Let's pull the uh, counter off of this. this haste. And this is uh, my only only shot here, right? So if I attack with everything, they have a 4-5 that can block this. We have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I think we just all attack. And uh, we... Obviously, we want to buff up the thing with Trample, since that's most likely to go through anyway. And they're tapped out. We might have uh, found a path to victory here. This is... This is going to be very, very close. So they are going to soak 5 damage. Wow! Okay, so back against the wall, we managed to keep our our hopes alive, and I think that's where we're going to end this video. Um, we could try to finish the run, but I think I'm going to let the suspense linger a little bit longer. Three and two. Three and two is not where I wanted to be. One loss was to my own fault. Again, I probably should have mulliganed. Uh, the other one got, got just handle a beat, but... We're, we're working through it. So if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next video.